Hey guys, so this video is going to be my annual Christmas gift guide. I've put a lot of thought into these gifts and I kind of made them into categories this year. In the past I would just throw random things out at you, but this year I kind of broke it down into different categories. So hopefully one of the categories will fit one of the women in your life that you're shopping for, whether it's your mom, your best friend, your sister, your cousin, whoever. I feel like I really tried to cover a wide range of persons, people that have different tastes and different styles and different likes in their life. So I will put previous gift guides that I've done the last two years or three years in the description box below in case you have missed them. I did one for men last year. I'm not going to do one for men this year just because I feel like most of the stuff would probably stay the same as the one that things that I mentioned last year, so I'll put last year's video down in the description box. But this year I have fresh and new, exciting, fun little ideas that I hope some of you guys will enjoy taking on yourselves and giving as gifts, or maybe even adding to your own Christmas. So if you guys want to see my gift guide, stay tuned. Okay, so to start out, I feel like makeup is a very hard thing to give as a gift only because if, if the person is like us in that we are obsessed with all things beauty, they probably have a ton of stuff. You don't know what they already have in your collection and you don't want to buy them something they already have or they might just be really picky in the brands or the products that they like. So I tread very lightly when it comes to giving makeup. Um, I've always recommended like the Naked palettes. I think those are great. I know the Naked 3 palette is out. Um, I'm not interested in it only because the tones of the colors would clash with my skin tone, but if you have someone in your life that is blonde or fair skin, I think it's a really pretty palette. So I only have a couple things for makeup. The first thing is the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette, and I think they've since redesigned the packaging on this, but it's basically 12 colors and they're all matte. And I have an entire video on this. If you're interested, I'll link that one in the description box below. But this is really pretty. It's a $20 price point and I feel like anybody that wears neutral shadows or has a professional job would really appreciate a palette such as this because you really just get all matte shadows. There's no mixed in like glitter, sparkle sheens. It's just a very professional and sophisticated palette. And the only other makeup thing I could not wait to share with you, I actually had this company offer to send me some samples of these. I had never heard of them before. The company is My Couture. And when you first see these, they look like little blotting papers, but they're actually like color for your face. It's cheek color, like blush and highlight, and they're in these little like tear out booklets. The packaging is beautiful. This is gold and um, this is a blush and this is in the color, oh, this is actually the trio, so in here, I don't know if you can see that, you get two shades of blush and then one highlighter shade. And I, I was very skeptical when I first heard about these. Basically they are like little pieces of paper with color on them. And so this is a blush color, and I actually have on the blush and highlighter, and I want you to, I want you to just see it because it's incre crazy how this stuff works and how well that it works. So today I use the Montecito blush paper, which is a new color, and it's a gorgeous, um, like almost, um, it's almost like a mauvey rose with a little bit of sheen. So I use this for my blush color. And then I used the Crystal Cove Highlighting Paper, which is a really pretty gold champagne color. And basically all you do is you take the paper and you rub it on your cheek, and you can do one sheet of paper for both cheeks, and then you rub the other side, and then you take the highlighter paper and you kind of press it in and um, kind of rub it where you want your highlight. And then I kind of go back with like a fluffy brush just to make sure everything's blended, but I gotta tell you, it's a really cool product. If you need like stocking stuffers or like little grab bag gifts for your girlfriends, I think they would love these. This is like the most perfect on the go touch up in any purse or handbag. It's gonna be an essential in mine. You just tear out the little piece, touch up your blush, put a little sparkly highlighter on, and you're good to go. So I absolutely love these. I think these make a really cute gift, and especially, like I said, a little stocking stuffer. They have all different kinds of colors and shades, and it's just really, really nice. So I definitely could not wait to tell you about this product. All right, so that's really all that I had for makeup. Now for spa, 
You could put together a couple of these little things in like a little gift pack or again they could be individual stocking stuffers. The first one that I have is the gift set from Sarah Happ and in the gift set you get the red velvet lip scrub which tastes amazing, feels really good, and then the lip slip which I talked about in my November favorites. It's hands down my new favorite lip balm. It's very moisturizing, it's not sticky, and it's very glossy, pretty color. So there's that. I also really love the Rose Argon body conditioner, which is a really nice luxury product. You put it on in the shower. It's like a lotion for your shower. It has a really nice rose scent. And um, if you have someone that enjoys like taking baths and treating themselves, that's really nice. Also, face masks. My two favorites are the one from Bliss. This is the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. I had a facial at the Bliss Spa, the um, Oxygen Facial and loved it so much they actually used this product in the facial I ended up getting it and it's amazing it's only a five minute facial so it's great for anybody that doesn't have a lot of time um, especially like mommies that just don't have a lot of time to themselves but maybe wants just a little pick me up you just put it on it kind of bubbles and you just leave it on your face for five minutes I sometimes do this like right after I get out of the shower or sometimes if I have time to take a bath I put it on in the bathtub and this newest one that I got um, this is from First Aid Beauty, and it's the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. I'm actually going to film a review on this. I thought about doing a first impressions video, but I've already used it twice, so it's not really first impressions. I can actually do a review. This is a really nice hydrating facial. Both of these are really nice for just like a, a pick-me-up. It's like a little treat to your skin. It's a really nice moisture. They're both really nice like for moisturization, especially in the winter months. They're not so much for like breakouts and blackheads and removing impurities. They're more just to, to like moisturize and hydrate your skin. So those are really great. Um, I also really love this Bethina from Benefit. It's like a fine um, spray oil and this is a really nice product as a stocking stuffer or a, a little gift for your girlfriends. It comes in really cute packaging. And then for a more luxury gift, um, I would recommend the set from Laura Mercier and they have different sets. But So this one is like the bubble bath and then this one is the souffle body cream which is a really nice, luxurious, ultra soft, creamy um, whipped body butter, body cream. This is in the scent um, Ombre Vanilla and it smells super good. Basically they sell the same product in all of their different scents. And um, it comes with a cute little like honeycomb thing that you dip in and let it run in the water. It's a really nice little gift, I think, for anybody that enjoys taking time for themselves. And then the last thing, um, one of my friends on here, Natalie, she we were emailing back and forth, and she is a rep for Mary Kay, and she sent me a whole bunch of products and samples, and she sent me this little three-step hand treatment. Um, it's a softener, a scrub, and then a hand cream. And I love this. I really have been enjoying this. I'm actually going to be ordering a full size of each of these. And I wanted to just mention it again for stocking stuffers. I'll put Natalie's email below um, if you're interested and she can hook you up with this stuff. But it's a really nice moisturizer. It's like a good treatment for your hand. Sometimes when lotion just isn't cutting it, it's just not enough. Your hands are, are that dry where a good cream just isn't enough for your hands. Doing like a treatment once a week or every couple days I think is this nice little luxury. It doesn't take long at all and really, really great. And then lastly, stocking stuffer. How could I not mention my Shiseido cotton? My precious cotton pads. Probably 99% of the women that you have in your life wear makeup and this is essential in taking it off. So of course I had to include that. Okay, so that's it for spa and makeup. Moving on to the coffee slash tea lover. I am both, I am a lover of both coffee and tea, so I wanted to just share some really pretty mugs, my favorites. Um, I thought a nice gift would be to just do a really pretty mug and their favorite tea or coffee or hot chocolate. Um, my absolute favorite mugs, this is my number one favorite mug, it's from Anthropology and it just has um, really pretty design. It's in light pink with our initial, which is T, our last name. I just love the shape of the mug. I think it's really pretty and I just love, I love this mug. It's just my favorite mug that I have. And I love collecting mugs. Like I don't have sets of mugs. I just kind of pick them up here, here and there as I go. And then this one's from Target. Also has our initial on it in a really pretty gray chevron. Really nice mug. And then, of course, Alice and Olivia released a collection with Starbucks and they made this ultra cute ceramic little mug. The little lid comes off, you fill it up with your coffee or your tea. The tutu comes off so you can easily wash this. And, I mean, 
what girly girl in your life that enjoys coffee, tea, or hot chocolate do you know that would not just be obsessed with drinking her beverage out of this thing? I, with the, as, as funny as it is, I honestly, it makes me so happy like when I have a cup of coffee to drink and I put it in this. Like it just, I don't know, it's just the little things. Like it's just so cute. And it's so fun, and I just love this. So if you can find these, I know the Starbucks online um, sold out of them pretty quickly, but I was able to find them at both my local Starbucks and my Starbucks inside my Target. So check your Targets that have Starbucks, because I don't think people realize that they are sold there, and there was a ton of them when I was in there last. So I wanted to just mention that. And then, of course, like you can just go to Tiavana or Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts and get their favorite coffee. This is just a pumpkin brulee, um, pumpkin spice brulee from Tiavana. Really nice. And I just feel like this would make a really cute gift. And if you, they're not a tea drinker or coffee, you could always do a really fun, easy, like DIY mason jar. Put a little bit of hot cocoa, some crushed um, like candy canes, and some marshmallows. Put the lid on, put a cute little red bow, and give them like a hot chocolate in a mason jar and a cute little mug to go with it. I think that would be really cute. Um, okay, now for jewelry, of course, we cannot have a gift guide on my channel that doesn't mention jewelry. Stella and Dot, it just goes without saying, they have an amazing selection, everything from dainty little things to really big statement makers. Um, right now, the whole month of December, they're running their Dot Dollars promotion, so for every $50 that you spend, you're getting a $25 gift certificate to put towards your next purchase in January, like when the new spring collection release releases, <laughs> excuse me. So that's running all month of December long. And then some other fun little jewelry that I thought is worth a mention. These I've talked about before, but I just wanted to remind you. These are the Count Me Healthy Bangles by Chelsea Charles, and these are really just fun pieces of jewelry to wear, but they're also functional. If you have someone in your life that is someone that is very health conscious and drinks a lot of water and you need and they like to track how much water the intake they're, they're having on a daily basis they you just move the little beads from side to side I used the this one when I was pregnant for kicks I also used it once I was once I had the baby and I was nursing a lot when I was first nursing her and I couldn't keep track of like the last time you know how many times a day I was feeding her, I would keep track with the little beads on this bagel they come in silver gold and rose gold, so really whatever kind of jewelry they like, um, you can find one for that person. They looked really nice, stacked. I tend to wear mine all at the same time. They slip on really easily. They're always running promotions. I'm pretty sure I got an email the other day of um, a sale that they're having. But they're just really nice and like I said, functional. If you have a new mommy in your life that you know or someone that's pregnant, I think these would make a really nice gift, like I said, to count their water intake, their kicks their breastfeeding sessions, like it, you could just use these for so many different things. Another lovely gift for jewelry cat for the jewelry category would be Pandora, and I've talked about Pandora in other gift guides, but I wanted to just highlight one little collection. I actually have some of these pieces on my own Christmas list. It's the Vintage Allure collection. It's a limited edition collection, and it has a very old Victorian vintage feel to it. It's absolutely beautiful. It has a green um, like emerald, not even, I don't even think it's emerald, it's a little bit lighter. It has a green gem on it. It's a two-tone charm. They have a charm, they have earrings, they have a pendant, they have rings. They have two sets of earrings actually. So I actually put the little charm on my wish list and my and the little stud earrings they have which are super super pretty. So if you haven't looked into that collection yet I highly suggest you do because like I said it is limited edition. And the last thing that I have for the jewelry category are these initial charm necklaces. I feel like everybody has these. Again, mine is from Helen Ficalora, and it's just an A with diamonds. It's on a 14 karat gold chain, and it's in 14 karat gold. Helen Ficalora actually has them in silver as well, with and without diamonds. Stella and Dot has their own line of charms. They have a whole collection of charms, and they have everything from initials and numbers and different birthstones and symbols. I just feel like if you have someone in your life that has kids or a new mom or a grandmother or a mother. They have all different charms that say all different things. I feel like it's so personal and any mom or anyone that has kids, grandkids, great grandkids would just appreciate that. I feel like it's a very thoughtful, meaningful thing that they can wear, you know, all day, every day and it kind of keeps their grandkids and their kids close to them. I rarely take mine off. It's kind of just become a part of me. I just feel like it's a pretty little 
piece and it's like it means a lot to me Nick got it for me when I had the baby and it just I really don't ever take it off ever I even shower with it on so I love the charm necklaces and the whole concept of them another little jewelry item that I thought was worth a mention are these Kendra Scott Danielle earrings I had just purchased these a couple I think I got these with their Cyber Monday sale um, I have seen these on a ton of celebrities and I finally went on to order myself a pair. They're beautiful. They're a little bit on the heavier side. But they're really nice statement earrings and I have them in the shade iridescent agate which is a limited edition color. It's almost like an iridescent opal slash pink. Almost looks a little mother of pearl. They're really really pretty um, and they literally come in every single color you can imagine. Kendra Scott has really nice statement jewelry but I just feel like the Danielles are very classy and I think they're one of her best sellers so um, I think anybody that received these as a gift would be incredibly thankful. And I think that's it for jewelry. Okay and then as far as home decor and home items, candles, candles, candles. Um, I've said it before, I really love the chic look and design of all white candles and I love the um, Jo Malone ones. These are by, this one's by Jo Malone. It's the Pomegranate Noir. I have not burned this one yet. It was a little mini that I got in a set and smells amazing. It just looks so pretty. I also love the Henry Bendel candles. They're all white regardless of the scent that you get. They just, they're, they all look the same. The scent is on the bottom. This one is Sugared Amber, which smells so amazing. Um, I just love them. Another really cute DIY you can do with a mason jar if you want to give a candle gift is take a mason jar, get a little bit of sandpaper, cut out the sandpaper and paste it or glue it on top of the lid and then do some like stick matches. Put that in the jar, put a little twine around it, put a gift tag so you have the sandpaper on top to light the match. You can give the little mason jar and a cute little candle and make a really cute gift. Um, another really I think good idea for people that maybe just started having kids and they're trying to switch over to more natural or just homeowners in general it would be maybe one month's bundle of the honest company I actually have a whole video plan to do I've basically been using the honest company for four or five months now I'm not a big fan of their diapers or their wipes honestly but I love their products for their household products and I think I've pretty much tried everything that they offer so I have a really good feel for their products and what works and what I'm not really a big fan of so that's a whole video that I have planned but they're very well priced I feel for what you get each month you get a bundle so you get five items and I think it's for $35 and it just arrives on your doorstep and they have everything from laundry detergent, dish detergent, hand soap, body wash, toothpaste, everything. They also have, um, like I said, diapers and wipes. They have nipple balm and stretch mark cream they just came out with and very affordable. And it's like a subscription service, but you can monitor how often you want it, either four, six, or every eight weeks, which is really nice. And it's just a really feel good company. Everything's all natural, good, not good for you ingredients, but not harmful chemicals so if you are someone like me that was I'm really trying to I've, since I had the baby I've been trying to kind of switch over all of our cleaning supplies and everything like that to more natural eco-friendly products just to have around the house so I think that would be a really nice gift too um, you can always just do like one month and if they enjoy it then they can continue it themselves and if not they just cancel it and I think for the last thing I just have like a bunch of little accessories um, this is the Stella and Dot Famous Little Poofs. They come in all different prints. This would make a really cute gift. You can put like a really cute pair of earrings in here or a statement necklace, depending on how much you want to spend. They have a really nice price point on them, very affordable. Um, they fold up really small. These are really nice little companions to keep in your diaper bag, to keep rattles or pacifiers or small bottles or anything like that. They're very functional. I use these more so for like my makeup in my handbag or even to travel like to put some toiletries in them. Um, Stella Dot also has the softest scarves for $59. You can't beat the price. A lot of them are on sale right now. They're very long, they're very wide, and they are very very soft and cozy. So I love their scarves. Also another little accessory that I love are these leather um, little pouches and these are black by Blair Ritchie. This one's a little bit smaller. It has this really fun tassel and this metallic print and you can basically use it 
as a clutch, as a nighttime evening bag, or you can use it to travel. This one is in the snake skin print with a black tassel. It has a little um, handle there so you can, you know, carry it like that. Um, but I think these are really cute little clutches, and I think these would make a really nice gift for the girly girl in your life. And then, of course, there's these little hair ties, um, and I feel like everyone has a version of these nowadays. These are by Main Message. And the company was actually started by someone named Olivia, and she started doing these in college, and it just took off. And I will tell you, um, I have tried a ton of these kinds of hair bands. I've tried the MEJ ones. I've tried the ones from Sephora. I have tried ones just that I've gotten at local boutiques by my house, just no-name brands. And I have to be honest and tell you that her hair bands, which actually double as like little bracelets, um, are the best quality that I have tried. They don't lose their elasticity. They still um, kind of go back to their own shape. They don't stretch out. Like I find with my MEJ ones that I have, um, they tend to, sh once they're stretched out, they don't go back and then they're kind of ruined and it defeats the whole purpose. I've tried several of hers that she has sent me to try and by far, these are my favorite ones that I've ever tried because like I said, once you like stretch them out to put them in your hair to put them in a ponytail, they don't lose their stretch. You can still wear them. They still fit tight as a bracelet or as a hair elastic on your wrist. And I really like them. So I think these would make really nice stocking stuffers. She actually sent me a little pack for Addison when she's a little bit older and they're little kid sizes. Like if you have a little girl that you want to stick these in her stocking, they, they would make a really cute little gift in their little tie dye. And they come in all different colors and they have glittery ones and all that fun stuff. And then last in the little accessories category would be slippers, house slippers. And this is, again, something I have on my Christmas list. Um, I'm actually going to take these off right now because I'm wearing one pair of them. These are the ones I got in my recent Target haul. And these are like little booties, and I just wear these around the house. I don't ever wear them outside. On my Christmas list, I also put a pair of traditional slippers, um, like flats they look like, but, but slipper style. These are like boots and warm and cozy, but I also just wanted like a cute little pair of flat slippers to just throw on if I'm like running around the house and I don't want to like have a full on boot up half of my, my calf. Um, I love the ones from Ugg and I also love the ones from Michael Kors and I think they're both under $100 and they just look like flats but in a slipper form. I'll put links to them in the description box so you can see what they look like online. The Uggs one have a cute little furry poof on the front and they're just really cute so I like I said I did put a pair of flat slippers on my Christmas list and I wanted to share that with you and I just feel like that would just make a really nice gift for someone like a really cozy warm especially this time of year I think anyone that especially if they are a stay-at-home mommy and they're around the house all day and they don't want to be in shoes or sneakers I think that would make a really nice gift so I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this gift guide. I hope that you find it helpful. I hope that you get everything on your Christmas list this year. And I thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.